everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Today, we are going back to 1998 when Jean-Claude Elena created this fragrance for the house of Cartier. And I'm going to tell you a bit more about Cartier Déclaration in case you do not know about it. Although I doubt that because this fragrance is really well known for being one of the best aromatic, fresh, spicy, citrusy fragrances that, that have ever been made in the fragrance world or the modern fragrance world so today i'm going to wear this outside it is going to be the first time i'm going to wear this perfume outside of the house although i've been spraying this a lot here inside let's first read the description and then discuss whether it is true or not they describe cartier declaration as the elegance of nature Fresh and distinctive blend, an original composition of cedar and birchwood, underlined with cold spices. So yeah, let's talk about this even more. You really have no idea how many school kids made fun of me while I'm trying to film. Anyway, let's start by talking about something really disappointing with this fragrance before we start talking about the good things. The problem with this fragrance is that it really projects so so softly although the ingredients that are used in creating this fragrance all the notes have a very strong potential of uh, giving a very good projection this is definitely a skin fragrance Declaration contains all these notes that are a bit bitter and sour all the citruses that go well with the spices we have mandarin orange bitter orange neroli jasmine birch leaf which is this kind of tangy woody note that gives an amazing aroma to fragrances so i guess we could actually say that the citrusy aromatic sour and tangy uh, opening or character of this fragrance is nothing new however what is really new, innovative and smells so natural as they describe it is the addition of black and white pepper. I'm sure that there is some white pepper in the composition which could be a bit risky because it smells a bit smelly to be honest, stronger than black pepper smells. So here in this fragrance it is very well used. It is mixed with all of this citrusy goodness to create a very tangy, fresh fragrance that really kicks off either pepper or citrus depending on the temperature of your body. I've noticed that when it is or when it gets a bit cooler, I smell the birch leaf and the citruses with the neroli more than I do smell the pepper when it gets a bit warm. That's why I'm wearing it now. I could definitely smell the pepper developing so beautifully with these citrusy notes. This is a pepper-based fragrance. So how many hours do you really get wearing this fragrance? I would say it will last on your skin over 10 hours, but the problem is it doesn't project. So it is definitely a skin fragrance or probably if someone is sitting next to you and it happened that you have applied enough, you are definitely going to smell this projecting. So I think now this is going to get so noisy because I am on the main road. So I'm going to wrap up my review. Is this fragrance worth getting? I would say absolutely yes, because the smell itself is so natural. It is so refreshing and fresh. And I think if you have a decent collection of fragrances, you would you might really want to add this to your collection as another representation of aromatic citrusy fresh spicy fragrances as i mentioned it lasts so well on the skin and the scent jumps between being citrusy tangy birch like to a peppery fragrance when it is a bit warmer so yeah i hope you enjoyed spending time with me and that you found this review helpful please let me know if you have tried this fragrance and leave me other suggestions for Cartier fragrances that you think are worth getting. I'll speak to you very soon. Until then, as usual, please be safe. Bye.